New 2017 Range Rover Velar SUV revealed, specs, prices, picks and in-depth video. The new Range Rover Velar takes its place between the Evoque and the Range Rover Sport, priced from £44,830. Land Rover has revealed a new addition to its Range Rover lineup, which is the firm's answer to everything from the Porsche Macan to the BMW X6. Called the Velar, it'll make its global debut in the flesh at the Geneva Motor Show next week, before hitting Land Rover showrooms early this summer. When it arrives on sale it'll be the fourth car in the Range Rover lineup, bridging the gap between the Evoque and the Range Rover Sport. For reference, the Velar's 4,803mm length means it's 5 cm shorter than the Sport, though at its tallest point it's only 5 mm taller than the Evoque. While the roofline isn't as coupe-shaped as rivals like the BMW X6, it is in effect the brand's coupe model, sporting a considerably more rakish look compared to other cars in the Range Rover lineup. However, in practice it is every bit as capacious as the likes of the Macan or even the Jaguar F-Pace. It blends Evoque with more traditional full-size Range Rover styling elements, though it does introduce one or two all-new design traits. Horizontal tail lights, as with the Evoque, are found at the rear, though the Velar's units are slimmer and stretch across the width of the tailgate. Other design firsts include the recessed, pop-out door handles, leading to a much smoother side profile. Range Rover Velar, Interior Design The Velar's cabin showcases the latest in Land Rover's design language, along with several new technologies that are new to Range Rover. The centerpiece of the front cabin is a triple screen setup on the fascia. It can incorporate a 12.3-inch TFT virtual cockpit display, as seen on Range Rover and Range Rover Sport, but the accompanying center touch screen lights up and tilts forwards when the vehicle is started up. This central panel will show music, phone, and navigation data as usual, but below it, Land Rover has replaced most of the fascia's buttons with a further touch screen. It controls elements like the heated seats, suspension, and transmission settings, and the heater, and like the tilt screen, it stays dark until the vehicle is fired up. The same applies to the buttons on the steering wheel, incidentally, and the overall effect is one of greater sophistication than on any previous Land Rover product. The view from the Velar's driving seat isn't quite as commanding as in the Range Rover Sport or Range Rover, a sign that the base has been lowered to retain headroom below the swoopier roofline. It works, though, because six-footers should have no problem sitting upright, even in the rear seats. The boot is a decent shape too, and it boasts plenty of useful luggage hooks, although there is a noticeable lip to lift items over. The rear hatch is a conventional single-piece item, incidentally, without a drop-down or extendable ledge to sit on, but gesture control means it can at least be opened by waving a foot below the rear bumper. The boot capacity is 632 liters with the rear seats in place, and 1731 with them lowered down, both of these sizes are comfortably clear of the space offered in a Macon. New Range Rover Velar, Engine Details Even at launch, the Velar will have a pretty wide lineup of engines. The most basic unit, available only with the lowest two trim levels, will be a four-cylinder diesel producing 178 bhp and 430 nm of torque, enough for a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 8.4 seconds, but CO2 emissions of just 142 g/km. The same Ingenium motor is also offered across the wider range, with 237 bhp and 500 nm and CO2 emissions of 154 g slash km. Then there's a V6 diesel with 296 bhp and 700 nm, it can crack the 0 to 60 miles per hour dash in 6.1 seconds, but its CO2 emissions are more hefty 167 g slash km. Land Rover will also offer the Velar with a choice of petrol engines, even in the diesel-focused UK. There's a four-cylinder Ingenium unit producing 247 bhp and 365 nm of torque, 
although its CO2 emissions of 173 g slash km mean it's one for private buyers instead of company car choosers. This motor will also be offered later this year in a more potent spec, with 296 bhp and 400 nm. The other petrol unit at launch is Jaguar Land Rover supercharged 3.0 liter V6, it has 375 bhp and 450 nm of torque, although again, its CO2 emissions of 214 g slash km mean it'll be a more expensive Veeler to run than any of the diesels. All Veelers will be four-wheel drive, and all will get an 8-speed automatic transmission. All six-cylinder additions will get air suspension, too, but this will be an option for four-cylinder cars in higher trim levels, order one of these engines with the cheaper models and you will be restricted to coil springs only. Range Rover Veeler Spec and off-road ability. Land Rover says the Veeler will be more capable off-road than any of its rivals. Its approach angle can be up to 28.89 degrees, and its maximum weighting depth on air suspension models is 650 millimeters. The firm also claims it'll be a useful towing vehicle, with a rated capacity of up to 2,500 kilograms and Land Rover's latest tow assist system to help with reversing maneuvers. The entry-level additions of the car, called standard, get 18-inch alloy wheels, heated front seats, keyless entry, a heated windscreen and LED headlights. S brings 19-inch alloys, the gesture-controlled tailgate, 10-way electrically adjustable front seats and leather upholstery. SE steps up to 20-inch wheels and adds matrix LED lights with high beam assist, a 360-degree parking aid, Land Rover's 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster and an 825W Meridian sound system. The range topper, house, gets 21-inch alloys, Windsor leather seats with massage and climate function for front passengers, satin chrome trim, a power-adjustable steering column and adaptive cruise control with Q assist. There's also a trim level called R-Dynamic, which brings sporty themed detailing, including satin gray finish alloy wheels and bright metal alloy pedals, along with a more aggressive front bumper design. And for the first year of the car's life, there's a first edition, which adds more luxury on top of house spec, including a 1,600W sound system and 22-inch alloy wheels. It's available with the V6 petrol only, though. Land Rover is also offering the Veeler with an alternative seat fabric for those who don't want leather, developed in conjunction with Kvadrat and available as part of an interior premium textile pack, the new seat covering mixes wool blend textiles with a suede cloth insert that's made from recycled plastic bottles. Range Rover Veeler, Prices and On Sale Date Land Rover believes the Veeler can fill a useful gap in its pricing structure. Four-cylinder diesel additions will cost from £44,830, almost £15,000 more than the most basic Evoque, but only about £5,000 up on the average transaction price for the smaller car. The Veeler itself will be about £15,000 cheaper than the entry-level Range Rover Sport, too, but it's worth noting that the entry point is for the 176 bhp diesel in standard trim only, if you want to get close to matching the performance of even the most modest Macon, the 43,500 lb model that has 249 bhp, you'll need a Veeler SD240, which costs 10,000 pounds more, at 53,720 pounds. The Veeler will be built at Jaguar Land Rover's plant in Solihull, where it will go down the same production line as the Range Rover Sport and F-Pace. Land Rover is taking orders now, and the first UK customers should get their cars from July.